there are ambitious resort plans for the northern part of this island, which has been leased by a French company who also lease part of Koh Rusi, and have already opened a resort there, see below, and construction is already underway. A Chinese-Malaysian firm also leased a large swath of land and have built a road that unfortunately cuts through the lush jungle. But for now, there are three yellow sand beaches that are mostly untouched, with just a few budget accommodations. Be sure to bring everything you might need because there are no ATMs here and you won't be able to buy much once on the island, think sunscreen, beach towels, bug repellent, and shampoo. And don't expect much in the way of electricity or Wi-Fi, this is definitely the place to unplug. Bird watchers will enjoy spotting the more than 150 species that fly around the island and rare orchids and carnivorous pitcher plants can also be found here. There are a few paths marked in the jungle and one will take you to a small fishing village where you can buy a freshly caught fish or crab lunch, while another takes you to naked beach on the south side of the island. There are a couple of places to rent a kayak and most guest houses have snorkel gear. Or rent a boat to Elephant Rock and jump from the top of a 26-foot tall cliff at sunset. Then go for a night swim among bioluminescent plankton. For the ultimate nature experience, bring or rent a hammock or tent and set up camp near one of the resorts, be sure to ask first. Otherwise, accommodations are limited to a few bungalows and beach shacks, Ko Ta Kiev Bungalows, 10103 Treehouse Bay, Crusoe Island, Cactus, and the last point, 